I'm gonna share with you the secret to exporting high quality Instagram Reels in Premiere Pro. Here inside Premiere, the first thing I'm gonna do is go up to File, New, Sequence. And then this video was shot at 1080p, 24 frames per second. So I'm just gonna drop down Digital SLR, 1080p, and select 1080p, 24, and then go up here to Settings. Then what I wanna do is go down to Frame Size and go ahead and change this to 1080 by 1920. And that's gonna create a nine by 16 aspect ratio. Now, the last thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and select whatever you want your frame rate for your sequence to be. So I'm gonna go ahead and select 23.976 and then press okay. Then what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drag my clip onto the timeline. And if this pops up, just go ahead and select keep existing settings. And now what I'm gonna do is go ahead and reposition this so it fits correctly inside of the frame. So I'm just gonna scale this up and then reposition it to about right here. And now for the sake of the story, I'm gonna say that this video is ready for export. So I'm gonna take my playhead, go to the very beginning of the footage and press I on the keyboard for in. And then I'm gonna to go to the very end of the footage and press O on the keyboard for out. And that's going to create a section on the timeline that you're gonna tell Premiere what you want to export. Then I'm gonna go up here to the export tab. And the first thing I'm gonna do is select my file name. So I'm just gonna name this whatever I want. And I'm going to select a location to where I want to save this file and just click choose. Then for preset, you can change this to whatever you want because this is gonna to change to custom here in just a second. And for format, go ahead and select H.264. Next, go ahead and make sure that you've toggled on this video tab here so the video gets exported out as well and drop down that video tab. Next, go ahead and select match source and that should change to your aspect ratio of 1080 by 1920. If it didn't, go ahead and just uncheck this box here and then unlock this here and then you can manually put in 1080 by 1920 and then go ahead and recheck that box. For frame rate, this should match whatever your sequence was. So if it doesn't, you can go ahead, uncheck that, and then select whatever you want your frame rate to be, and then select that box. Field order should be set to progressive, and aspect should be set to square pixels 1.0. Then drop down this box for more. Check the box for render at maximum depth, and then check the box for use maximum render quality, and then scroll down here to your encoding settings. For performance, you wanna go ahead and select hardware encoding if your graphics card will allow it. If not, you can select software encoding and that'll work too. For profile, you wanna set this to high, and then for level, you want to set this to 5.0. Scroll down here to your bitrate settings, and then select CBR, which stands for constant bitrate, and change your target bitrate to 12. Then go down here to the audio tab and make sure that it is turned on so it's highlighted blue and then drop down this audio tab and you want to make sure that the audio format is set to AAC. Audio codec should be set to AAC as well. Sample rate should be at 48,000 Hertz. Channel should be set to stereo and bit rate should be 320. Once you've created all those settings, then what you wanna do is go up here to back to where it says preset and this should have changed to custom. Click on these three dots here and select save preset. And then go ahead and name this whatever you want it to be and then press OK. And what that'll do is you can now find that inside of your preset options instead of having to go through these steps every single time. And then I'll select that and go ahead and click export. Now in order to transfer your video from your computer to your phone and still maintain that high quality, you're gonna to wanna to use AirDrop if you're on iOS and then you're gonna to wanna to use Google Drive if you're using an Android. Another thing you wanna to try to do is shoot your videos in vertical mode. So what that means is if I'm shooting video on my phone, instead of holding my phone like this, I'm gonna hold it straight up and down like this and shoot my video, just like I would if I was scrolling through Instagram on my phone. If I'm using a camera though, instead of holding it like this, I'm gonna turn the camera sideways and take my video like this. Continue to perfect your skills by checking out this video. Edit like a pro by subscribing and hitting the bell so you don't miss anything. I'll see you in the next video.